Here we are, Transylvania, 1872. It's very 19th century. Why here? Why now? I've been to Transylvania before, a very long time ago. I thought I'd give it an our chance, but this time, of a twist. What twist? Well, I went to modern day Transylvania, so I thought historical trip is what we needed. I suppose after that whole business with Staticus, I think I need a break from modern time. Most certainly. However, the time is bugging me. What, what time is it? Nice watch. However, I don't think it will give you an accurate reading. This watch corrects itself to the time we arrive in. What's this? Is it meant to do this? The hands are just going in circles. No, some sort of time distortion. Hold on. Excuse me, sorry. Uh, not from this time zone. Uh, would you have the correct time on you? Oh, um, it, well, the last time I checked, it was five o'clock, sir. Thank you. Uh, take care. Resorted to asking locals. Oh, how far the mighty have fallen. Oh, how far the mighty have fallen. Yeah, yeah, laugh it up. But look around. They say it's five, yet it's dark. It's night. Well, it is autumn. Usually it gets darker around this time. Darker, but not night. This is, this is weird. Doctor, could you potentially be looking way too far into this? Yeah, you could be right, yeah. Yeah, I'm looking too much into it. Hey doctor, look at this. It's a gala at Brand Castle. It says it's hosted by a lord. Perfect. Maggie Mae, will you call me to the gala? Oh, sir, doctor, of course. First, I need to change though. I don't think it's appropriate, this outfit. And I need to be for the right century, so... Wardrobe? First left, second right, third on the left, go straight ahead, under the stairs, past the bins, fifth door on your left. Okay, got you! Wait, which door on my left? Fifth! It starts in an hour. Be quick. It won't take me an hour. Only if I'm lucky. What? Nothing! Sure it was. Okay. Now what do I do whilst I wait? Come on, universe, give me something. <laughs> Could have just been knitting, but if needs must. Vampire. No. It can't be you. Hello again, Doctor. What are you doing here? How are you here? All shall be revealed soon enough, Time Lord. Why do they need to run away like that? Ugh. After all this time, Alucard. Don't worry, everything will be fine. Okay, you have three seconds to tell us what you did to him. I don't do anything. This man needs urgent help. Now try. Check him. Yes, sir. Listen, he can tell you everything, but he needs urgent medical attention. He's dead. Right. You have some explaining to do. Yeah, I do. Especially to Maggie. Well? What do you think? Well, just typical of a man. Doctor! Come on! Stop messing around! Doctor? 
Hello, madame. Oh, oh God, sorry. <laughs> Frightened me. I cannot apologize enough, my lady. I just couldn't allow someone so beautiful to be on her own in the dark. Thanks, Mr... Lord, actually. Oh, you, you must be the Lord at the gala then. I am on my way to the gala right now, so that must be so, my lady. Well, it's, it's great to meet you. However, I think you will find I am more than capable of taking care of myself. Never had any doubt. However, do you wish to accompany me to the gala? I'm not sure. My, my friend should have been here, and I don't want to worry him. We wouldn't want that. Does he know where you would be? Yeah, but still, I wouldn't feel right about abandoning him. But I really think you should. Uh, I mean, you wouldn't want your friend to ruin your evening, wouldn't you? Um, no. I wouldn't want my friend to ruin my evening. Good. Now, will you accompany me to the gala? Oh, yes, of course. Excellent. Now, what is your name, my lady? Maggie. Sorry, I haven't even asked you your name either. That's fine. My name is Lord Dracula. Oh. Bit of an odd name where I'm from. Is it your real name, or did you choose it? God-given. Trust me, Maggie. There is very little odd with me. <laughs> I don't know why, but I trust you. Then let's make haste. The gala is starting. Yes, of, of course, lead the way. Were the restraints necessary? Yes. They need to give us some real answers here. I told you, I didn't kill him. We saw you with a body. No one else was in that alley. You need to start talking. I won't tell you lies, Sergeant. Someone else was in that alley. They killed that man. It isn't humanly possible to be in that alley and disappear within seconds. My thoughts exactly. Sorry, but you need to start making sense. The murderer isn't from this world. It was a vampire. A what? Vampire, you know, blood-sucking vampire. I don't know what you're referring towards. Ah, 1872, a bit too early. Okay, there is a creature that lurks in the shadows, can only come out at night and burns in the sun. Okay, now you're speaking nonsense. I'm telling you the truth, Sergeant. Really? Then tell me what this sun you speak of. I don't know what you mean. You know, with the ball of burning gas that can be seen during the day? Again, you've lost me. Sit down! Wait, I just need to look into your eyes. Step back! Don't move! I just need to check. You are clearly very ill. There it is. Hypnotic suggestion. Something's very not right here. You need to let me go now, or else things will get a lot worse. I've heard enough. You're clearly deranged. You're making a mistake. If you don't let me go, more people will die. Be quiet. I have heard enough of this delusions. I need to get back to Maggie. If I could just reach my sonic. Ah, I really need to invest in better inside pockets. Got it. There we go. Okay. Now the door. Damn, the door's too primitive. The window. If I can resonate the concrete around the bars. Previous attempts were less than ideal, but no other option. What on good, sir, are you doing? How did you get out of your restraints? I used my... So my weapon. Yes, very dangerous weapon. And cross me, I could blow this place to hell. Lower your weapon. Really? Why did you bring a gun into this? Ah, okay, I surrender. Don't make me do that to you now. 
Now, back towards the wall. Yes, please, don't hurt me. I'm not going to hurt you. Now, if you could please be so kind to point me towards the exit. Um, yes, of course. It's down the hall. Uh, first door on the boat. Better not be lying. I must say, Lord Dracula, your castle's exquisite. Why, thank you, Miss May. Have you ever been to Romania before? Once on a school trip, but I was 14 and never really got to take in the culture and beauty. Well, if you wish, I could take you on a tour. There is a lot of relics and treasures from Romania's history and culture. That sounds so great, but... Would it not be rude to leave during dinner? Nonsense. It is my gala, my home. And I have a gut feeling that by the time we return, nobody would have noticed. Um, sure. Why not? This isn't right. Did I get the address correct? Excuse me, this is Bran Castle, isn't it? Yes, sir, it is. Right, well, I'm I'm here for the gala. But I'm afraid we are at maximum capacity, sir. All right, uh, well, surely you can make an exception for me, couldn't you? Uh, um, um, of, of course, sir, uh, y your majesty. No, no, let's leave the formalities and certainly leave the bowing. I am looking for my, um, my, uh, uh, Mistress? Yeah, that, yeah, th that. Uh, brown hair, five foot four, um, Irish? Oh, Miss May. That's the one. Well, she accompanied Lord Dracula tonight, so you would find them both in the dining hall. Dracula? Oh, no. Thanks, but I really need to dash. Wait, hold on. Forgive me, Your Majesty, but you don't sound French. Lost the accent. What can I say? The Great Hall. A bit of a personal detour, as here we have my family portraits. Oh, wow. These are brand new. I thought paintings would age and decay over time. I have my ways. This room has a lot of my family's history. Reminders of our homeland. Where is that? It's fair since gone. My home used to be in Castoboros. That sounds so familiar. I'm sure I've heard that before. Have you? Maybe your friend traveled there before. Actually, your name? Dracula. It sounds familiar too. Back where I live, Dracula's a vampire. Why is the smur reflecting me, but not you? Mm, vampires. A lot of humanity takes so much from my kind, turns us into myths and legends. You're a vampire? You're the real Dracula? <laughs> I feel we can discard our formal names, my dear. My name is Alucard. Right. What is your plan, Alucard? I am weak. My race is dying. And now I must recruit more if my race is to continue. So I am very sorry for this, Miss May. Sorry for what? This. <laughs> Maggie. Maggie, no! Maggie! Maggie! Maggie, I'm so sorry. Please, please get up. Doctor? Yes, I'm here. You're okay. There was a man. Dracula. Doctor, it's Dracula. Yes, I know who he is. We have history. Who is he? How does he know about you and... Oh, why does Castera sound so familiar? One question at a time. Okay, he is not Dracula. His name is Alucard, which, spelt backwards, does mean Dracula. Okay. I ran into him in the past, well, future, it's complicated. He is from Kasturbris, as am I. Wait, 
Is he one of your people? No, it's actually pretty insulting. The vampires have been at Kasturba since the dark times. Before the Time Lords themselves, they are dark and evil creatures, a race built on conversions of others. What, what do you mean conversions? Well, you've seen the movies, typically a bite to the neck. Just, just like the one you've got. Well, how about that? <sighs> Maggie, no, not you. Oh, come on, Doctor. Become one of us. Equals with the power to take all of time and space. One bite is all it takes. It won't hurt. I'll be gentle. Maggie, although your somewhat flirtatious offer is compelling, I will have to say I'd rather die than do that. Hmm. Thought you liked me? Oh well. Time to die, Time Lord. Don't make me do this, Maggie. Okay, then. Hurt me. Maggie, stop fooling around. This is not you. Just join us, Doctor. I know you always wanted me. <laughs> Sorry, Maggie. I didn't want to do that. And the phoning was going way too far. I will change you back. I am so sorry I left you alone. Well, well, well. That trick with your sonic screwdriver does take me back, Doctor. Alucard. How can you be here? Why are you here? To save my race, Doctor. That's what it's always been about. How did you escape Gallifrey? It took time, Doctor. Thankfully, I had a lot to waste. It took me 75 years. But I managed to use my suggestive hypnosis to get a guard to let me go free. Time Lords, such big minds, and yet it takes forever to convince them of anything. After that, I stole a TARDIS and made my way to the 19th century to establish myself as Lord Dracula and rewrite the myths to suit my needs. I'm going to take a shot in the dark that this facade of Bran Castle is your TARDIS, considering the real Bran Castle is 10 miles east from here. Also, I can't say I approve of your time manipulation keeping at night to suit your cause. <laughs> you don't miss a trick, Doctor. My castle, or as you figured out, my TARDIS, is in fact a lore. From what I learned from my last visit, the people of this world love a folk tale, a myth, a legend. And so I gave them Dracula. Paying off the future myths and legends to lure your victims into your trap. Exactly. But now, with you here, I cannot take any risks. I see the young boy has moved on. Where is your son now? Don't you mention him. I shall do as I please. Miss me! Yes, Lord Dracula. Kill him. <laughs> With pleasure, my lord. Maggie, no! I shall leave you two to talk this out. <laughs> Alucard, get back oh, here! Oh, not so fast. No. Where did we leave things off again? Oh, of course. I remember. Oh! Maggie, no. You, you need, need to remember. Remember what? Weakness, trauma, a loss. Loss? Maggie, what loss? Enough! Maggie, you need to think. You need to concentrate on my voice. You are not this. You are not a vampire. You are human. Humans are weak. They are not weak. They are strong. Yes, they make mistakes, but they overcome everything that is thrown at them. Vampires are the brink of extinction. What does that tell you? Silence! Your lies won't work. Alakar is a coward, Maggie. Why else would you think he needs humans? Think back to when we first met. You beat Staticus for your own strength, not Alucard's. The VHS tape. Yes, yes, the VHS tape. Something I can only believe that it was something so close to you, and yet you gave it away for the good of mankind. I, I can't, Doctor. I can't go back. Yes, yes you can, Maggie, because you can fight this. Now fight! Ah! Doctor, 
Maggie, is that you? Yes. I don't know how long I can hold back the conversion. It's taking over. We need to act now. Maggie, if I face Elicard, you need to find the control room to his TARDIS and deactivate the temporal loop. Bring back the sun. And you really think I know how to do this? Listen, it's simple. So simple, I taught my son. I taught a close friend of mine. Just enter the control room. There will be a series of switches on the second panel to your left. You, all you need to do is locate the one titled Reset next to the Atom Accelerator and the Time Controls. Okay. The Reset switch? Restarts the TARDIS to its original settings and stops any ongoing commands. How do I locate the control room? You need to listen for it. It's a hum, the sound of the TARDIS itself. Currently, with your highly tuned hearing, it'll be easier for you. But you need to focus and listen for it. I don't know. Seems complicated. Maggie, you need to try, or the world will soon be the new homeworld of the Vampire Empire. Okay. But how can you face Alucard alone? There. Can't say much about Alucard's sense of decor, but the sword should buy us some time. Good luck. Doctor, wait. Thanks for bringing me back to Earth. I learned from the best. Now, let's get moving. <sighs> okay, vampires. Don't fail me now. Tardis, son. Where are you? Sorry, I was gone for some time. I believe it is now time to accelerate the plan. Everyone, leave and recruit. No living thing in this universe can stop us now. Yes, Lord Dracula. <laughs> I should have known you would have gotten through to Miss May. You doubted her strength? No, I was only to assume she was as weak as the rest of this race. I wouldn't. <laughs> well, this is certainly a different approach from our last encounter. What happened to just talking? Your pacifist approach. I've been through so much since we last met Alucard, and I have learned that your word means nothing. Well then, <laughs> are we going to talk, or are we going to fight? We'll have it your way this time. Very well. At least I get to kill you myself. I see you have experience with a duel of swords, Doctor. Bit rusty, but never hurts to remember. Come on. Where are you? Focus, Maggie. Focus. There you are. How do I get in? Secret door? My god. What has he done to this place? I hear you. What did the doctor say? Second pal to my right? No! Left! Jesus Christ! Oh. It's hard to focus. Where's that reset? There are so many oh, buttons and switches. Say, Doctor, you're starting to break a sweat. Just hope you can catch up. I've barely started. Well, you know I stand corrected. Don't be so dramatic. Just use regeneration energy and heal it up. Return to the fight. Unless... <laughs> oh, this is too good. You can't regenerate, can you, Doctor? 
What's it to you? It means when I kill you, you stay dead. Why are none of these working? Ugh. I swear if it's the red one. I ought on. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Now, die, Doctor! The sun. I know you could do it, Maggie. Uh, ah! It... it burns! Yeah, doesn't it just? Oh! Okay, Doctor, you win. Now please, call the Time Lords. Help me! No. But, but you must. You have a moral code. Have mercy, Doctor, please. I gave you mercy last time. I went against my code of no second chances, and look where that got us. Oh, but my rays, they die with me. All the better for it. Time to rest, Alucard. Curse you, Doctor. Curse you through hell. I'll make it there eventually, don't worry about it. Maggie! Maggie! Maggie, where are you? Over here. Maggie, are you okay? Has the conversion stopped? Yes. I'm fine. Did you stop Alucard? Is he gone? Yeah, he's gone. Now we need to get out of here now. But what about the others? You see, Alucard used this TARDIS to manipulate time, and time doesn't really like that. So what this TARDIS has done is that it's reverted us back to a time before Alucard arrived, but didn't arrive at all, cancelling out a paradox with another paradox. I'm not sure that's how it works. <sighs> time engineering, don't think too much of it. What are you doing? Activating emergency program one, setting the destination to Gallifrey. I like to think they want this TARDIS back. Gallifrey? Is that where you're from? Yes. But that doesn't matter. Okay? I said the TARDIS take off after we leave. You have five minutes to get out of here. So, best run it. Oh, of course, because it's always running with you. Oh, you bet. Come on, Maggie. Come on. Move along, May. I'm moving as fast as I can! We have seconds left! Wait, what? Yeah. Job's all done. But didn't anyone notice that? You're not grasping the concept of not worrying about it, aren't you? But look at all the people and... They didn't notice a castle disappear? Perception filter. Basic tech, but it is job. Oh, I give up trying to understand. Nah, you're getting it. Come on, bit of a walk back to the TARDIS. But I'm on a dress. Yes, and you look stunning. Last time I checked, it was your idea to go to this gala. That technically never happened. Actually, I do have a question for you. Okay. Only one, and then TARDIS. Alucard. He created myths and legends of Lord Dracula and vampires. Does that get erased? Will I go home and find the fictions of Dracula who didn't ever exist? Just like all vampires, both real and fiction, never truly die. Dracula will still exist as fiction. And the vampires, the real ones, as Alucard said, he was the last one. They've existed for billions of years. I have heavy doubt that they are all gone. Vampires exist in the darkest regions of the universe. Some so dark not even I would cross. We can never truly know for sure what lurks in that darkness. Those shadows. Maybe it's best to leave it with doubt instead of a certainty. <laughs> <laughs> 